Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Reuse, Reuse. Alright, so last time it told me, use the abilities of all your giants to cover at least half of your patches in the oceans, mountains, deserts, and forests. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and throw an ocean, right? Yeah, we can leave that to be a little bit of a desert. We'll throw it over here. Uh, now how? I would like, uh... A forest on the edge of uh, this right hall. Now let's get to work. Now go. Uh, Mr. Giant Rock Man of Rockiness. You will separate the two of these with, well, rocks of rockiness. Yes. You all seem delightfully entertained with your jobs, and it is taking you forever to get there. Is there a speed up button? Hmm, perhaps not. Oh, that is so neat. Bzzz. Oh, how'd you guys not follow? Come on, what are you up to? Okay, you making your oceans. Good. And you, start making that. I think I can double click on these over here to get me to the guys. Yep. Nope. You're making your rocks. Oh, there's the ocean. Beautiful. And rocky, rocky, rock. Go ahead over here. See this guy making his. Not doing anything. Not doing a damn thing. Why can't I put a forest there? Oh, it needs water. Ah, right, right. Derp, 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 derp. You. I forgot. This man can't do anything without your help. But on the other hand, there is a place for you over home. Uh. Let us uh, extend these mountains a little, shall we? He's like doing wizard magic. I actually just wanted this to be like an abnormally high patch of land, so let's just keep raising it. <clears throat> I will click next when I damn well feel that it is needed. Okay, it is needed. What? Monkey, what are you gonna do? Oh, oh look at that beautiful 3D car. Oh, this is amazing. Ooh, we go up, and there's a little sunshine, there's a mountain giant. Yeah, you have learned to create oceans, forests, mountains, and deserts. You hope the life blooming from your lands will remain while you slumber. Click to continue to view all of your achieved developments during the game. Boom, baby. Ah, oh, it's just a tutorial. Sad face. I wanted to keep playing. <laughs> Second area. Welcome to the second area. You can always press the question mark for extra information. Use the next button to continue. Oh, I paused again. You recall a time when you used your giants to create oceans and forests. You gather all your strength again so the ocean giant and forest giant can reawaken. Boom, boom, Yeah, tree monkey man. You sense the spark of life somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Use the forest giant and ocean giant to raise a forest of at least 10 patches. Well, to start a forest, we obviously need some water. So go ahead and do your poundy poundy. <coughs> Urgh, tenderize the land. Now I will make it livable. No, oh, it's just one. Well done, you sense a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awakened. You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core, and it seems your forest giant has gained a new ability. The forest giant makes a plant rise from the ground with the fruit plants give food. Food, nummy, nummy. Time for eating. I'm gonna get me some fruity trees. Oh, those are berry bushes, but that's still good. Ten food. If next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. <gasps> Bros appeared. 
Oh, I got bros. I can sustain bros. Next. As soon as the humans settle in, <clears throat> all their thoughts and feeding flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. Oh, what are humans? Oh, I want to kill them all because they eat my berries of food. Oh. Click on a village to see the village borders light up beneath me. Okay, so there's our borders. Each end of the village border is marked with a bunker or a buoy. Ah, oh, I see. These little wooden spike thingies. Placing plants, animals, or minerals within the village borders would generate resources. Villages want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by me. You can control to cycle through additional info about what the patches are currently producing. The blueberry is providing five food, so the maximum food for the village can use is five. Okay. The village's resources can be viewed by selecting the village and viewing the village panel in the upper right corner. It must be this card. Alternatively, you can also tap control to view the numbers under the village. You can see how much food is being used, the number before the slash, and see how much food there is available within the borders, the number after the slash. So I'm using four out of five right now. Place some more fruit plants within the borders to see how it will affect the village. Okay. Oh, there you go, guys. Have some. Uh... Oh my God! It's gonna kill us! <clears throat> it's Attack on Titans come to come to life, and they're all giant. And... Ah! That's kind of the point of Attack on Titan. That they're really big, but ah, let's see. They're oh, good. I heard I heard something over here. Oh my God! Guys, there's blueberries. Never mind. I'm just gonna cut down this tree. <laughs> oh, wait, did he find it? I think he found it. I don't know. Click. Oh, they, they found it. Smart man. As you can also see in the village panel, these two blueberries are now generating ten food. Yes, I did. This will eventually lead to ten food being put into use. I see. So this is like, as you grow, you need more resources. You give them more resources, you grow bigger. It's, yeah. Exponential growth crap. You can always speed things up by adding extra resources. The bigger the difference between the food in use and the food in borders, the faster the food in use will grow. See if you can raise the food in use above 12 using the fruit plant ability. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys could use them. Uh, not that one. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Let's just put it right next to these ones. Oh yeah, they just have a giant field of blueberries. And then they will all just eat nothing but a f ton of blueberries. And they'll like it, because that's all I'm giving them. Yes. Eat those blueberries. Become fat and ripe, so I can eat you. Wait, was that not within the boundaries? Oh no, as it grows, the boundaries grow too. Oh, humans. You so expansion. <coughs> going to get some berries and going to get some berries. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, there's more over here. Jesus! Where did they come from? <coughs> oh, I don't know. The giant standing behind you? I raised it to above 12. Come on, man. Oh, wait, I think the humans have to actually expand. Well, bless you. This guy's like, you forgot about me. I hate you. It's just, it's all about this guy right now, okay? You're just gonna drown them all and kill them. You've done your job. But I'm sad. No, don't be sad. <clears throat> Come on, guys. One more. Come on. Come on. Now, you're so happy, then have sex and have babies so my number can go up. See, look at there's a There's a hot wife right there. I think. Oh god, are these unisex? Oh, uh, that definitely looks like a chick guy. And that, that's got facial hair. He's a bro, and that guy's got a mustache, I think. Oh, did you see what you said today? Oh, have you seen the sun recently? Oh, no, I've just been staring at this delicious haunt of meat and these beautiful... I don't give you guys. Where do you get bananas? Oh, now I'm going to eat this flower, and now I'm going to eat more bananas, and my potassium levels will be over 9,000. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. It's over. Okay. <clears throat> well done. The village is growing, and the people are gaining knowledge. They have started building something of their own. <laughs> My children. The village has started building a granary. <laughs> Do they need your help? Building the granary project has allowed for the villagers to gain a specialization. Click on the project patch to view this specialization in the upper right-hand corner. Project. Chop right hand these this thing. Greed. 
How, how is that a specialty? They're greedy bastards. They're gonna. Oh my god. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. You got the worst specialization. They're just gonna start destroying the land and strip mining and all this other terrible stuff, and everything's just gonna get destroyed. Then the giants are gonna have to commit mass genocide, and I don't wanna have to be the guy that does that. But I will if it is necessary. This will be no easy task. Luckily, it seems the ocean giant has now grown stronger and gained a new ability. He has hidden powers. What is it now? The ocean giant creates animals. Domestic. Ah, oh, sweet. We can hunt. Boom. Animals, bitch. Oh, yeah. What the... What the f... Okay. Okay. Never mind. I see him. I see him. We good. Oh, I hate I'm allergic to fish in the ocean. Alright. <clears throat> uh, have you eaten pears lately? Uh, uh, pears? Uh, no? No? So, well, you see, you're just gonna walk away from me because I don't eat pears. Fine. I'm going into my tent. <laughs> okay, I did it. Uh, well, now I need more. Let's grab some. Oh, I can only have one in the whole ocean. No easy test. <laughs> Use the ocean giant's domestic animals ability in the fo- Oh, you can put him in the fo- Oh. I thought it was like ocean only. Come on guys, get, get, get start fishing, come on. What you guys doing? <coughs> I don't like the way you're looking at those animals, buddy. That is, that is a- Oh, I'm gonna like them. They're pretty little animals. Oh, it's a chicken. This will be the blah, blah, blah. Okay. All animals have an area of effect. <gasps> oh, it's World of Warcraft here. Oh, yeah, come on. Are they going to explode? Are they explodey chickens? Click on the animals to view their range beneath. Light up again. Oh, so, okay, so it's like the range for the people. Click on the patch of chickens to view their statistics in the upper right-hand corner. The symbiosis? Symbiosis list? Where's the sim... Free range plus three food if a blueberry is with an animal. There's blueberry. Ah, <laughs> oh, ba boom. Two birds, one, two chickens, one stone. Do it. I heard it did. Mmm. By it. All plants and animals and minerals have separate symbiosis. So as you combine things that specifically symbiosisitize with each other, your food goes up and you gain bonuses. Interesting. Ah, uh, yes, uh, hail to the king in the corner, the bee king of all people. Me and my bear suit. Excellent. Because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. He will never be on my level. The ambassador wishes to climb upon the shoulders of your giant and increase their strength. I don't know. <clears throat> Oh, Rock Giant is here to say no, you humans have overstepped your boundaries and I will kill you now. No? Rock Giant is a new ability, huh? Select the Rock Giant and use the right mouse to click on the text bubble above the ambassador to pick him up. Text bubble. I accept you. Ah, are we doing it now? Is this what they call repopulation? Select the giant and use the right mouse. Okay. Uh, well done. The ambassador spirit is now unlike new abilities for the rock giant. Mm, select the patch with the greenery to greenery. Specialization. The greenery challenge has been completed. Mushroom eaters. For each mineral within the borders. Okay. And this is I'm guessing minerals. Okay. Great. So it has to be within oh, is right that. Oh, this little guy in my head is making me feel like putting minerals in the ground. Ah, uh, it looks toxic. Well, whatever. Symbiosis. Shelter plus ten if next to animal nest. What? No. Place some minerals within the village's borders to increase. Oh, I like how they go underground and everything too. It's like Minecraft. Ooh, minerals. Excellent. The project's specialization is giving extra food for the agate you created. There is still life. The village has grown and developed greatly since you've awakened. But you sense there is still life roaming your surface. 
Raise a desert of ten patches using the rock giant's raised mountain ability. Be sure to do this far away from any forest or ocean as possible. Alright. Uh, there we go. Uh, time to make stuff go higher than it was before. <coughs> Use the ocean giants, domesticate animal ability, to place some animals in the largest desert. Make sure there's enough desert for the villagers to settle on. Okay. Is there enough desert? Oh yeah, this'll be fine. Put some bros around. Oh, right, 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 right. No, no. No, you stop that. You stop that right there. Move. Stay. Forgot. It's you I need. You know what, I think I'm done over there, so you can just probably move just over here to be chilling. And you're not going to be doing anything over there anymore, so you can just go chill over there. Rah. Animars. What are those? Are those monkeys? Or, no, those are those... Oh, those are rat thingies. Kangaroo rat, yay! <gasps> ah, yes. The ocean smasher. Excellent, a village started in the desert. You sense there soon be a new project. What? Huh? Click on the project patch to view its specialization in the upper right corner. Specialize, activate when a project starts being built. You should change the specialization when a project starts. Specialization, desert plus five for each animal within borders. Okay. Oh, a little too far. Well, let's go ahead and give them a little bit of animals. Is that within the borders? I should be within the borders, right? No. Never mind. Stop. Command the. Put some Z instead. I think that's what it means. I don't know, so. I'll move him over there just in case. Okay. Kangaroo rats generate one food for each passage. For each patch in their range. The specialization is provided by an extra patch. Seems this project also requires wealth. Use the rock giant's precious mineral ability within the desert village borders. Okay. What are these borders again? There's like no, no room in the borders, man. I got monkeys there, bro. Uh, I guess it's this. Sorry, little monkey bros. We're gonna have to get off of this mineral farm. Uh, I will make you rich by slamming my fist on the ground. Rawr. You are not rich with... Oh, that looks much better. Okay, they have wealth. The quartz you created only generates 10 wealth. This will slowly lead towards 10 wealth in use. We can increase this by making sure the villagers activate the material. Minerals can generate far more resources if they are activated. Click on the minerals to view the requirements for activation. Requirements for activation. Burr, 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 burr. Activate with five wealth in use. So once they eventually get up to five, it activates and makes it easier for them to get to the next five? Okay. Raise the wealth in use above five to activate quartz. Place a second quartz may assist you, I think, in this. Yeah, but they need to expand their borders more, man. Uh, I guess I could put one right in here. That'd be fun. Oh, I like money. I like diamonds. Diamonds are money. Oh, diamonds are apples. Oh, I love eating apples. Oh, but apples taste like dice. <laughs> oh, oh, I love potassium. Don't you love, love potassium? Oh, you know, that's potassium. Hunches of meat. Oh, hunches of meat totally have potassium. Oh, I love hunches of meat really so much. <laughs> oh, just, oh, you know what? I haven't had a pair in a while. Well done. Your quartz is not activated. <laughs> oh, pairs are money. Let's continue improving this village until I can finish this project. Okay. Uh, 7 out of 10. Okay, well, then just time. As time goes by, the rock giant looks like a good guy. Look at him. He's like, oh, look at the cute little humans. Oh, they like apples. Haunches are made and flowers and more apples. Come on. Yeah. 
Paganism? Excellent work. You have performed admirably. The humans have strengthened your core. You have learned about villagers' resources and symbiosis and the time slumbers and uh, humans will find the next time. You can now go try to leave the humans in a different domain than air game. Development can unlock new plants, animals, and uh, there's also a third beginning to learn about greed, transmutations, and danger. If you're having any difficulty, you can always select the third beginning and the new game. But I think I'll probably play that anyways, just to be sure. Okay, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. If you have any criticisms or anything you want to say, leave it in the comments. This game is available for the next couple days on Steam. Again, I think maybe only one day left by the time I actually put this up for $2.49. It's $10 otherwise. I will leave a link in the description to the website of the people that actually made it. The website for this game. Anyways, have a great day.